We're here with head women's basketball coach Kate Peterson Abiad. Coach, do you, do you want to give us some overall thoughts on today's win over FIU? Yeah, it was a, a good win for us. Um, we're just really grateful to have a you know a game where we could control the end of the game. Um, you know, we're in, we've been in a lot of close games, and I think we're maturing into you know, handling the late um, you know the late in the second in the fourth quarter time. And I think uh, one of the other things we talked about pregame is that we need to be able to handle adversity during a game. And when things are going well, we, we seem to do really well. And when things don't go well, um, we, we, we let that snowball into other areas. Um, today, we didn't start off very well. And I thought that we maintained some composure. And while we were giving the ball away as much as we were actually shooting it, um, thought that we were able to make some adjustments and and then got into a better flow. And that's really the first time I've seen us handle that quite that way. And um, and so, I th you know, I'm hoping that that's a sign of growth. You touched on this a little bit. It was almost the opposite of Saturday's game when you were able to come back from that first quarter deficit. Can you just expand on your play during this run? I thought the same thing. Um, and I, I, I remember looking at the score, and it was 19 to 9, and that's what it was when we played um, at Toledo last week and I think um, or earlier in the week I should say but I think that uh, I think that we knew in our minds like this this is a surmountable you know lead I think we can get get past this we just have to get into a better flow offensively um, and actually it was a combination of both we were not playing well defensively we weren't rotating very well we weren't handling our on the ball defense very well and then on the other side, um, we were just turning it over way too much and, and just didn't have any kind of offensive flow. Um, some of the frustration offensively came from the fact that we had uh, uh, some of our players that were being un unguarded in our offense. Um, and, you know, they were just camping their kids out, and, and that was hurting us from a rebounding standpoint. It was hurting us from an offensive standpoint. And uh, we just we went to a lineup that, that could – create a situation where they had to guard all of us outside and um, I think that made a lot of difference and I think uh, they understood when we made that adjustment that what their role was like they needed to be a threat and that's why we made the switch and um, and I think that that adjustment probably was one of the biggest reasons we were able to fight back into the game. Offensively you recorded 15 assists on 18 made field goals can you talk about how you were moving the ball around on your offense? Yeah, this is the best we've done with that, and that, that's sort of been a marker of, of some of our best teams here is how often are we assisting each other. And um, early on in the season, I think if you look at our box scores, we, we might be getting, we might be hitting 20 shots and we might be assisting on seven of them. Um, it was just too much individual, um, you know, one-on, not one-on-one, -on -one, I wouldn't say, but it was really a lot of stuff off the dribble, and we need to be able to execute um, and pass the ball better and assist one another, find each other where where we really, you know, where we really want the ball. Um, some of the best plays tonight, uh, I remember Olivia hitting a three out in the, you know, out on the right wing when the shot clock was like at one and we drove the lane line and kicked to her and just looked very comfortable in, in the movement of the ball and made that extra pass in order to try to get a, a good look. Um, and, and I think that's that's a big part of where we're growing as well. Today was Health and Physical Education Day with over 1,500 kids in attendance. Can you talk about what they did to uh, spur the team on maybe with their, um, with their cheering and such? Well, this is one of my favorite games of the year. It's just, it just really feels like a college atmosphere. The kids, they don't just come. I mean, I know that they go through a bunch of um, you know, physical education stuff before the game starts and hopefully you know, get some of their energy and wiggling out, and then they sit down in the game, you know, for the game. And... You know, you know they're tuned in because every time we hit a shot, the the court explodes, and um, and it that is just something that we've really been missing here. And it's just it's a pleasure to play in front of people who are cheering for you. And um, I think it gave us energy, and I think it provided some excitement. And um, I think that's really valuable. And I'm I'm very appreciative of the efforts that it takes to get all those kids here. And um, and, and to have a program for them when they arrive is not just come and watch the game, but 
to really do some cool things that that energize the crowd and um, it was just a great it was a great great day coach thanks so much congrats on the win thanks very much